Uh, one thing I read in your book, uh, and I got the honors. Thank you very much for uh, thank you writing the forward along with Edge, uh, which is really cool and a terrific mm -hmm. honor. Uh, but I read about Wrestler's Court, and <laughs> your rendition of it is pretty much exactly as it happened. I mean, most people, it's funny, but you know, and, and our memories get bad with age, you know, so we, we remember something 20 years ago. It's not like we're lying. We just yeah. don't remember events in the correct order and names are wrong and stuff. But your rendition was a <laughs> pretty, pretty freaking accurate. Because, yeah, well, that's because it was like, it was probably the most, I always say it's, it's probably the, the best moment <laughs> of wrestling for me, like funniest. Because I just, I cried laughing the whole time. It was so much fun. So, uh, do you want to set it up and I'll go? Yeah, you know, right? Wrestler's Court, people, people talked about it on the mystique of Wrestler's Court. It was one of the most fun things we ever did. The boys yeah. looked forward to it for weeks. And you sometimes there was an underlying current that there was a shoot about something. Most of the time there wasn't. It was just a chance to do something fun. We didn't have social media. We didn't have the internet. This was our entertainment. And some didn't of those, have all those video games in the back or anything. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> some of those wrestlers' courts were some of the greatest things I've oh. ever seen in the history of this video. It was also <laughs> Taker, Taker was normally the judge. Uh, yeah. Kane, our godfather, was the bailiff. Yeah. I was the prosecuting attorney, and then everybody else was in the jury pool, and then Taker would, would render his verdict. So yeah, that Taker was out at that moment. That's at right. That point in time. And so Triple H took over the role, the robe of, yeah. of the Undertaker. Right. And what, right. ha what happened was is we had caught Teddy Long. For one, Teddy Long is the cheapest man <laughs> in the history. Teddy would turn into Galileo when we go through a toll booth. You know, <laughs> it, 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 just Teddy wouldn't pay for nothing. And yep. then finally, it was right when Viagra first came out. And so Teddy was getting them free from some, some doctor. <laughs> and and <clears throat> the boys found out about it and they're going, hey, can I get some of those? And Teddy was selling them yep. to the boys. Uh -huh. yep. so we took him to court for being a cheapskate. So I believe the charges were not cheapskate. It was cheap motherfucker is what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was the official court charge. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It was great. <laughs> Uh, so I, I, I remember, just I, we, it was almost like a class, a court setting, but you had, we had desks for some reason in this one room, because uh, I remember having a spit cup and, and some tobacco, and, and Kurt and I was, Kurt Angle was next to me, and we laughed so hard, I mean, I, we were holding each other up at one point, but, so the charges came up, and, you know, Hunter told you, you stood up, and I remember to Hunter, right in front of you was uh, Papa, Godfather, he was standing there and he had his arms crossed and all, all very, you know, all very official like. And then uh, you got up and said how, you know, he was, you know, at times, like you said, going through the, you would go to a toll and he'd be making like he was fumbling through his pockets. <laughs> and then the money would come out as you were already like yeah. 20 yards past the toll. And uh, so <clears throat> he, you know, all these different charges, but it was the, the official, like you said, the official thing was he was a cheap motherfucker. Yes. So all the charges came up. And we're all laughing. I mean, the, the place was, first of all, it was packed to the gills. And uh, I remember Hunter says, he, he turned, after all the, every, all the evidence was brought up, he turned to me, he goes, uh, well, Teddy, you're pretty much fucked. He said, <laughs> you have anything to say for yourself? And he, and yeah, Teddy also, stands wait, up. Let me interrupt. Also, the, yeah, judge, yeah, yeah. the judge's orders were also, you must tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, unless you can tell a better lie. Yes. So that was you. I forgot that part. You can, so make, the, shit, you can make shit up. You can do whatever you want in wrestler's court. It didn't that's right. True. You just be entertaining. Right. And Hunter even said it in the beginning of wrestler's court. He said, wrestling court is different from any other court for, for the people that haven't been there. You can lie, cheat, steal, whatever you got to do, bribe people to get, to get yourself up yeah. to, to win the case. So he, he goes through that whole thing, and, and Teddy stands up, and he goes, very animated. Your Honor, I'd like to call a, a what was it, a, a character, character witness? Character, yeah. Character yeah. witness, May Young. And right alone, that alone got the crowd to pop. And uh, so she comes walking up, and, and uh, she says, I don't understand you wrestlers with your big dicks needing that Niagara. 
<laughs> yeah. And the fucking the place went nuts. So, and then that was the last thing we expected to happen. <laughs> and then Hunter to just add fuel to the fire. He's like, well, you know, May, Niagara. Some guys feel more comfortable. They want to use the Niagara and all that. And he kept saying Niagara, which has made the whole thing even funnier. And then so at the end of the the, the, the is there, I don't know if there's any more to it, but the, the final verdict was he had he had to give you guys chicken. And I don't know how many cases of beer, yeah. right? Was yeah, that for the beer before? for us? I can't remember how much. We had to have a bucket of chicken. It may have been more than one, but he had to buy us. Uh, <laughs> me and Ron love fried chicken. So we, <laughs> so we had a bucket of chicken and beer. And, and Teddy had, I don't remember how much the total was, how many days it was. But that was the uh, verdict that Teddy was found unanimously guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but incredibly entertaining. <laughs> I'm sitting there like Effley, I'm sitting like Effley Bailey. I'm thinking I'm the dream team. I think I got this thing wrapped up. And all of a sudden, not, uh, May Young gets up and starts talking about Niagara and penises. <laughs> oh, my God. God bless you. That was so oh. funny. But I remember before before the whole thing, before we all went in, I didn't know what was going on. We were all kind of sitting out in the arena. And someone said, we have wrestler's court. And I was like, what's that? And they're like, they're like you don't want to miss wrestler's court. And I was like, thank God I didn't miss that because that was just, that was, that was worth every bit of it. That was, that was one of, that was probably the funniest time I've ever had in, in my three years there by far. You know, you know, those things were so great for the morale of the, of the town and, and of the office guys too, because, you know, we're all stressed out at TV. And I would think that was probably the third day of three TV shoots that you go 20 hours a day working. And so, you get a little relaxation like that. And like, like you guys explained, you know, you lie cheating still, you know, as long as you do that, present a good case to be entertaining. That's, that's all we're looking for. And nobody took it serious, you know, except Teddy when he had to go buy that chicken. And <laughs> <for AP. laughs> but uh, everybody walked out of there in a good mood and the rest of the day just kind of flew by because of those things.